What's going on guys? This is the new pickup here. I was telling y'all about the other day. Uh, where's my keys in my pocket? There's the red truck. Anyways, here it is. Pretty swanky. I enjoy it thoroughly. Came with these wheels and tires already on it here. So that's pretty handy. Pretty nice electric running boards, which is good if you're fat like me. Because you don't have to look like an old man, yet you can be an old man. Pretty awesome. Came with a replacement bumper already on it there. So it probably looks black in the video, but they actually call it magma. So sometimes it looks black, sometimes it looks purple, sometimes it looks kind of like a cherry color. Anyways, so that's pretty neat. So let's roll the hood over and show y'all the the new starter here. Close it back up and uh, let y'all hear how quick it'll uh, spin and fire off now. Okay. So, right here is the new starter beneath all this cluster of wiring down there. Uh, it is a Delco starter, which is the Primo brand, as I understand it. I pulled a Packard starter off of here. Also, we got a new windshield washer reservoir put on. The other one was leaking. Look right down here on the power steering gearbox. See that residue? The other one was leaking, so it hasn't, it hadn't got bad yet, but I thought, well, I'm here anyways, so let's just go ahead and slap a new one on. So we did that. Everything's good on that end. Uh, couldn't get it to mess up very reliably at the shop. So, uh, so <laughs> I mean, I don't know. I guess, I guess time will tell if if it really was, if the starter really was the issue, but it was messing up on me on the road and then eventually it just quit messing up or it, it started messing up less and less and less uh, because I killed it by accident once and it fired right off. And I thought, well, I guess I'll go ahead and start killing it now. And then it messed up a couple of times on me and then I got it up there to the shop and it wouldn't, it would not mess up at all. So we fooled with it up there. And uh, never could get her to, couldn't get her to skip a beat, which is incredibly fortunate. That's sarcasm. It's incredibly unfortunate. So, uh, I guess time will tell if we made the right decision. So, all right. So here's my new steering wheel and steering column. Got that all put on the other uh, the other day looks pretty swanky imo looks pretty good i got the the three spoke kind and uh ties everything together pretty well in my opinion so looks real good uh they had a scuffed up when they they had a they had one with some scuffs on it right underneath here in this area so luckily i caught that it comes in a plastic case but you can't really tell whether it's the case that's scuffed or the the steering column itself is scuffed so luckily i caught that they got this one pulled it out of the uh case or the package and it hadn't been scuffed yet so was i wasn't able to uh get a get a trailer brake controller so that's still black but that's on the list to get done here pretty quick hopefully so anyways that's uh that's what we got going on with that still got our fancy pants chrome microphone hanging there looking pretty good do i have a water driplet on my lens 
Okay, so let me open the door real quick and we'll fire it off and y'all guys can listen to how quick it starts. Or how much faster it spins over and everything. Let it go through all its clickety clacks here. Need some Jeopardy music. Okay, here we go. It's never spun that fast before. Even from uh, even from day one, never spun that fast. So, as y'all can see, well, let me get a little closer here. We've got uh, 222,293 miles on the truck. Still runs great. You know, I'm pretty impressed with it. I need to reset that trip. Still uh, really happy with it. Uh, not really crazy about the little starter incident that we just had, but you know, things happen. It is a truck. And of course, you know, Peterbilt was unable to uh, get me in to, uh, to, get, to get my truck in while I was on the road. I didn't want to fool with calling Peterbilt down in Waco or Ty or Fort Worth or anything because I didn't have a ride you know to go uh, get back home so you know with the holidays and everything I didn't want to ask anybody to tow me up there you know everybody's busy right now so so I just you know just paid for it out of pocket and everything and plus I needed oil change anyways so uh, just paid for it out of pocket and yeah. such is life in the trucking business I suppose but you know so tomorrow we're leaving out I don't know I have no idea where I'm going or any of that yet. I don't have the slightest clue. And uh, man, my dash looks freaking bang up, man. Shoot yeah. It's chrome all over the place. All this chrome's got me re reconsidering possibly getting some chrome pedals in the future, but I don't know. I think it'd be too easy to scuff up and mess up. So. Anyways, I think this wheel turned out looking really good, and I love it, and it's awesome. So, that's it for now, guys. Uh, appreciate y'all watching. Apologize for the uh, prolonged absence. Uh, but, you know, like I discussed in the other video the other day, uh, kind of got a full plate these days, so probably going to get a little fuller in the time to come so i'll try to keep up with this stuff as much as i can no promises uh but i will keep y'all updated on how the truck's doing and all that stuff and uh so yeah that that makes our i guess third problem in uh 222,000 miles so you know compared to my experience in the past that right there is what we might mark down as excellent so anyways, guys, again, thanks for watching, and uh, we will catch y'all on the next one. See ya.